Hi, my name is Eric. I'm free. I am a commercial photographer. I shoot a lot of celebrities, a lot of portraits, and a lot of athletic stuff. So today we're here with Celeste, and she's going to help us out and be shooting her some portraits. Uh, so for me, like I like to focus on interacting with the talent, directing them, making them feel comfortable, because that's the most important thing to me. I mean, lighting is key and, and things like that, but if you don't have a connection with the talent, like the image really doesn't say anything. So today's setup um, is a one light setup with some V-flats. Um, we got small space, nine foot seamless. So one light is enough for me. Uh, when I first got into photography, I didn't know much about lighting at all. And I started to, like assisting, and I would pick up different things and learn. Um, but I've always kind of gravitated to like simplicity. One light gets it done. If it can get it done, like it's no need to have the overkill. The first thing I like to do when I meet talent is like find out something about them if I don't already know. Like where they're from, what they've been up to and just kind of figure out what we have in common. So to just build that connection and the trust that you gotta have. Because getting your photograph taken is like this super vulnerable thing. And then I'm expecting these people to trust me, to follow my direction. And if I don't have that, then it's not gonna be a good photo. A lot of times you meet people and they don't like being photographed or it's, it's their first time being photographed and you gotta coach them through everything and make them feel comfortable. So that's the most, to me, the most important thing. Um, and then I like to have fun. Like typically I'll have music going so we get a little vibe set. <laughs> Love it. And the other thing I like to do is continue to give like positive reinforcement while I'm shooting. <laughs> Cause it's like weird if someone's like quiet the whole time. Exactly. So now what I want to do is like, I want to get like different like personality reactions out of your face, okay? okay. All right, so I'm, I got you. So give me like a very surprise. Nice, good, perfect. All right, that'll get me happy. Beautiful. All right, so now I'll give me a real upset. All right, you just got in a fight with your boyfriend. And give me sassy. <laughs> Good. All I need is like five minutes of your time and I will have you out here as fast as possible so you can go live your best life. <laughs> <laughs> Big no-no. Uh, offending them. <laughs> you want them to feel good about themselves, feel good about their pictures and have good energy. And I feel like the energy you put out is the energy you're gonna receive and shoot. So, staying positive and everybody, like you never know what type of day somebody's having. So, you gotta be willing to put up, put out a lot of energy to bring, to receive that from that person. So, and if they're having a bad day, you gotta be understanding about that. All right. So I love this whole vibe and look, so, but I want like movement with the hair, movement with the legs, everything. And just every, uh, every flash, just switch it up for me. Now, for a lot of jobs, it's a lot more complex lighting that I'll have. We'll have, I don't know, up to six heads set up doing different things, whether it's a hair light or edge lights or fill and just, a whole lot, um, and so when I have a big job, I'll have a big crew too. So it's usually two assistants, one tech, and then one intern and one PA. So I have five people putting it all together and setting it all up for me. And then I'm focused on talking to the client, figuring out what we need to achieve and how much time we're gonna have. And then meeting the talent and kind of walking them through what we're trying to do today, so. It's all, it, it takes a village. And then outside of that, if it's a celebrity, you're typically gonna have to talk to their PR or their, their manager. 
and explaining them what, you, what you're going to do. And then you're going to have to show them what the images look like, depending on how big the celebrity is. So they can approve it and say, all right, this fits this person's image. We can move forward with it. And if it doesn't, you make the tweaks to get it to that place. So I've had everywhere from 90 seconds to shoot like a full campaign that got images used in a commercial to having like 12 hours with somebody. But typically I don't get to 12. I get around 30 minutes to an hour with a celebrity. So you try to make sure everything's dialed in. As soon as they come on set, you can start popping off the images. And they already, you've already talked to them and walked them through what you're gonna do. So they understand and then you get them on set and give them the direction they need and go from there. But entertainers are interesting because you would think like actors are always in front of the camera and they would easily like being in front of a camera having a picture taken, that would be easy for them. But a lot of actors, they're used to being filmed, but they're not used to having their picture taken. They're more comfortable being filmed, I'll say, than having their picture taken. So you got to get them comfortable in what you're doing and you got them to trust you. You find a way to build a bridge and like have something, a point that y'all relate on. So whether it's travel or food or family or sports or something that you guys can relate on to get them like to break down their walls and they feel like, oh, this is a cool guy. Like I trust them. Type of thing. And then you show them like the the test shots or if you're shooting more. Like a lot of the times I'll have a shoot where I have to shoot um it's one celebrity, but then I'm also shooting other assets, so other people. So we'll shoot them first, and then I'll have a bunch of images, and I'll bring the, the talent, the key talent over, and be like, all right, so this is what we're doing, this is what it's gonna look like. And then hopefully they smile, and they're like, oh, this is dope, I'm excited, and they wanna do it. And so that helps too. If the talent's not comfortable, and they feel like there's way too many people who are around, everyone's gotta go except one of my, I may keep one assistant there, and everyone else needs to go over to the client monitor and hang out until we get through this so it can be intense and then it can be very simple and stripped down where it's just you and one person so to get to be a working photographer you got to shoot a lot you got to be willing to share your work a lot um and you gotta just be kind of fearless like it's a lot of things as a photographer that can be scary or just as an entrepreneur and you gotta be willing to like push towards those fears. Whether it's, I was traveling to New York once a month to try to set up meetings. I would go there once a month to set up meetings and calling people that didn't know me, asking, getting rejected all the time. So you gotta get used to a lot of rejection and you can't let that like stop you or phase you. And I meet photographers often or people that say they wanna be photographers and I tell, I mean, their advice is always the same. Shoot a lot, share your work a lot, and try to meet as many people as possible. And then some of them follow, like I've seen some follow the advice and their careers have flourished and I've seen others that don't necessarily put in the work and they, they still kind of where they were years ago when I first met them. So like, I feel like it's no excuse nowadays to be able to follow your passion because you got so many different, it's, it's not as many barriers as it used to be. Like, you could have an iPhone and take some amazing pictures and build your brand, save up enough money to buy a real camera, like a professional camera, and go from there. So it's just all about using whatever you have to the maximum. And honestly, like I never really wanted to shoot celebrities. I wanted to shoot only athletes, but I got an opportunity um, to shoot like 10 celebrities one day and they were all cool, interesting people. And I was like, oh, there it goes, check the box. Cause I had this perception of what they were versus like the actual reality. And ever since then, like I've just been in love with it. So it's shooting people and then capturing some type of emotion out of them and you know, making them feel relatable and, and like you feel like you can know that person through the image.